All right, now I'm going to do a set, and we're going to work with complements. So we have our, again, our original set notation. We have our three sets, A, B, and C, just as all my previous videos. And I have labeled the union set is all the numbers inside the union set. A is my subset 1 that just contains the element 2. B is another subset just contains the elements 2, 5, and 8. And C is my third um, subset which contains the elements 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. Now we're going to look at what does the complement mean. So complement is when you kind of have this little apostrophe up here, a little dash mark, we call it the compl complement. And if I were going to say, if I was um, going to say A is 2, the complement of A would be everything that's in the universal set but that's not in A. So if I go and look up here, what is everything that's not in my circle A but is still in my universal set? Well, we're going to have 8, 5, 1, 3, 4, and 7, and 14. So the complement means everything that's not in your original set but that is still in the universal set. All right, and if I was going to look at B prime, I'd say, all right, what's everything that's not in B, but that's still in our universal set? So that'd be 1, 3, 4, 7, and 14. And then number C is everything that's not in C, but that's still in our universal set. That's 8, 7, and 14. Let's go ahead and work on just two more couple problems. If I was going to say a prime intersect b, so what that says, what that means, or a prime or a complement, that means the exact same thing. But if I was going to look at this, and I'd say a prime intersect b, what does that mean? That means everything that's not in a, but that included everything that's, I'm sorry, everything that's not in a shared with everything that's in b. So let's look at everything that's not in a. 1, 3, 4, 5, 7, 8, and 14. Intersection, intersection with B, which is 2, 5, and 8. So what do these two elements have in common? Well, they both have a 5 and they both have an 8. <coughs> so what you guys can do is you can look at your two sets and say, all right, well, I can either say um, Everything that's in B intersect everything that's not in A, which would be just this 5 and 8. Because 2 is inside of A, so it doesn't count. And the rest of these numbers are not inside of B, so that's why the intersection cannot take place. Um, or you can just look at their sets written down and then see what their intersection. A union, though, remember, is addition. You're going to be adding them up. So everything that's not in C, which is 8, 7, and 14, plus everything that's in A, which is just 2. So really, I can just go 8, 7, 14, plus everything that's in A, which is 2. 2, 7, 2, 7, 8, 14. All right, and then the last one that I'm going to do for you guys is A prime intersect B prime intersect C prime. So everything that's not A intersect everything that's not in B intersect everything that's not in C. So what are the only two elements that they all three have in common? There's two elements. You guys notice that 7 and 14, they all have in common. So this answer would be 7 and 14. That would be a common element. So that is how you're going to find sets when using the complement.